Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video we're doing day two of NBA free agency. This is a much more lively day so I'm gonna give you my reaction and also give you what grades I give to each pickup that's happened. So for more content like this make sure to like this video. Let's begin day two. So we're gonna start off Jason Tatum agrees on largest contract in history five years 315 million dollars. What is the math on that? What's the math? What's, what's, the, what's, what's that math? You obviously making more money than any of us will see in our lives but you know what's that math they be paying these people you gotta teach your kids how to play basketball 63 million you gotta teach your kids how to play basketball man because i could have done that math in my head because i'm i'm thinking bro like 63 million dollars a year man to play basketball 315 million dollars man that's hey do your thing man um does he deserve it we'll see clay thompson headed to dallas on a three-year 50 million dollar deal i think it's a dope deal i know the lakers really wanted clay thompson no one wants to play with the Lakers. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, Lakers fans. Nobody want to play for y'all because y'all fan base, y'all be cooking people too crazy when they don't play well. So they're not trying to deal with that. So he's going three years, 50 million, which is you know pretty good money. He definitely helps the Dallas Mavericks a good bit. Um, that shooting, that veteran, you know, he's a veteran player. That's basically the guy who kind of replaces Tim Hardaway. At the same time, you know, he's old, so he's not going to be as impactful, but there's Luka and Kyrie in front of him. So definitely the Dallas Mavericks should be a formidable uh, team. And Honestly, with the Denver Nuggets losing their players, maybe the Dallas Mavericks ends up being that 2C, that 1C, 2C, 3C team. Maybe Luka Doncic goes on an MVP season. I think this is the season he actually wins MVP because adding a Klay Thompson player on your team, man, that is a dope thing for them. So Tyrese Maxey, five years, 204 million. So you make $100 million less than Jason Tatum. That's fine. No, you're still making more money than all of us. 204 divided by five is 40. So you're making 40 million. I, I give Clay to Dallas. I give that an A. I think that's a really dope deal. Um, 40 million, like I said, invest in basketball, very important thing. LeBron James would probably willing to take a salary cut for the right player. Sorry, LeBron, all the players he thought, Jonas Valanciunas, James Harden, Chris Paul, Thompson, none of them came to the Lakers. So maybe they get DeMar DeRozan. Derek White resigns with the Boston Celtics, four years, 129. How much money is that? Boy, anybody's making some change. They were taking some change. 129, five divided by four. That's a sexy $32 million a year. He deserves it though. He's this is great money though. Thirty million dollars. I know these superstar players in the nineties, bro. Thirty million. They like man. <laughs> Derek White. He good, but dang, Derek White getting thirty-two million. But yeah, Derek White is definitely a very good player, and that helps them a lot. You know, they're trying to obviously repeat, so it's very helpful to get a guy like that with the messed up tooth and all back on the team and averaging fifteen five and four. That's dope. 39 from three, that's dope. Tobias Harris returning to Detroit on a two-year, $52 million contract. Tobias Harris has made like $300 million in his NBA career. And he's Tobias Harris. Like He's not a bad player, but he's not some impactful star. So I'm just, the money they get is amazing. Like this money that they're getting is just unfathomable. I can only dream to have that money. This is a, like a D grade. Like this doesn't do anything for the, the Pistons. Like what does this do? It's like a D. Like teams like the Pistons, they do the stupidest things. Isaiah Hardenstein headed to Oklahoma City. I get that A plus. Hardenstein's a dope player. The Oklahoma City Thunder got Alex Crusoe and Hardenstein. These are two players. They didn't even trade none of their picks. They have a thousand picks. They didn't even trade none of their picks. The the Thunder are honestly in such a great situation that it's like they have too much. Like they have a lot of picks they don't know what to do with. Like you should honestly give those picks to people because you have a team that's built. Your team's fully built. There's no there's no addition to that. The Thunder and the Mavericks are definitely going to challenge the Nuggets for supremacy. I mean, they it's, it's going to be big. I don't think, I think the Thunder honestly could be the one seed again. Hardenstein is dope. It sucks the Knicks weren't able to resign him, but three years, $87 million, good money. What was that, like 20, 29, almost 30. Good money, good money, good money. Paul George headed east, the biggest one. And what I, I wanted people, talent, I want talent to go to the east. Because all this talent coming to the West and it's like, for what? Like, the, we don't need, like, the East, these bad Eastern Conference teams, they be feeding teams in the West. And I don't understand why they do that. Like, stay your butt in the East or, you know, some of these Western, these super Western Conference players go to the East. Um, this was the thing I woke up to. Four years, $212 million. Oh, my goodness. Is that, I think that's more than Tyrese and Maxey. $53 million a year, bro. Does, is Paul George worth $53 million a year? Man, that's crazy. I know the Clippers wouldn't pay that. That's crazy money. Yeah, um, this is like a B, B minus. This is a thing that it can it will help the Sixers, but they, you know, Paul George injury prone, Joel Embiid's injury prone. 
I mean, they'll, they'll be a good team, but they're not going to, yeah, they're, they're not going to win anything. And I know the, the Magic were in contention for Paul George, I feel like, but yeah, it wouldn't make sense. I think him going to Philadelphia was the best option out of all the teams, but you know, it was, it's a good, it's a decent, decent move. It's just nothing crazy. It really isn't. So, um, Kyle Kelly Oubre staying good for him. Mavericks going to be front runner. Ken Porter. Okay. So we seen them all. Eric Gordon, I know is also going to um, Philadelphia as well. So Philadelphia, they're a little decent team. They'll probably be a three C, four C. They'll be a good team next year. It's just, you know, will they be healthy? The Knicks will be good. The Thunder should be dope. This is an A grade, A plus grade for sure. Um, Tobias Harris is a D. Who cares about that? You know, it's re-signings. I'm not going to do anything about that. Uh, yeah, not re-signing Clay. We're going to Clay Thompson. I think that's an A. And yeah, so those are the two biggest things. Honestly, after that. Free agency is kind of dead. There's nothing else happening. So this might be the last time I do one of these because there's nothing else to happen with that. But that'll be it. Paul, George, and Clay. We'll see how y'all doing your new teams. If you like this video, make sure to like the content. Liking the video is very important because it helps the algorithm push the content to more basketball fans like yourself. So make sure to like this video before you leave. It's perfectly free. Um, subscribe to the channel as well if you like the content more nba content coming your way and the nfl season is coming soon so we're going to start switching stuff up into the nfl coming soon and if you're a texan fan hop aboard but hey i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one and i'm out of here peace